You know, it kind of pisses me off, man. I was, um, I already did this and it was upside down. Piss me off. Nothing pisses me off more than my bow straight gets on this stuff. Alright, guys. Forgot what day we we're on. I think we we're on day nine. I'm kind of doing a weird thing, Bible study, kind of YouTube. And you're like, what? What are you doing? I don't get it. Alright, sometimes you just gotta, gotta get in the word, man. Let me tell you why it's so important. By the way, check it out. Look at that. I got a joke, by the way. Kind of a true story. Look at that. I spelled my name right. Jonathan. Man, we appreciate that so much. Hug your local Jonathan. You know, if they spell their name with the... Golly, you don't understand that. All right. Okay, where do you want to go? Um, we can talk about Psalms 91 as truth. I mean, some of the stuff we already know. You know, it's not what we know. It's what we know. You know what I mean? It's not what we know. You know, like I can tell you all day. His truth and His faithfulness are a shield and a buckler, and that we're supposed to trust Him. And it really comes down to that word. You know, the word trust. You know, we trust in something, and and ultimately, you know, whether we bullshit or whatever, I mean, what we trust, just look at our lives. And one thing that's kind of becoming more and more apparent to me as I'm on this little eternal Jonathan Vibinoji spiritual journey is that it really comes down to that one word, what we trust in. I mean, just look at your life. Your life is going to manifest what you trust in. You know, you know if you're if you're fixated on a relationship. You know, I grew up with my uh, my mom and my stepdad, really, really dysfunctional relationship, really toxic. I mean, toxic, abusive. Um, and ultimately, you know, she was like a lot of wom- women. She just trusted in in a relationship. And and I grew up for my, over a decade where, um, you know, my my mom, she trusted in a relationship. She wanted that relationship to work at all costs and she put herself and the kids through a tremendous amount of pain because why she trusted in a man a man um, and for her she could say I would you know that she basically you can call it idolatry but we all do it I mean I I trusted in um, a business you know we all trust something and I, I think it's just honest to say what do we trust in and you know with no no condemnation. You know, human beings are going to trust in, you know, look at those people who really, really like their credentials from their, you know, you know, those people who like to get a bachelor's degree and they put their bachelor's degree on their checking account. Like they're like Jonathan Fibonacci BS. I'm like, okay, we get it. But for that person, their education, you know, uh, so they can read Psalms 91. They put their education in here. It says, you know, for example, that person would say, because my, uh, you know, they'll just put their education and they worship education. And they, you can look at their lives. Some people, it's they worship. You know, we all worship something. And, you know, the one thing that I, I'm getting so much from this journey, and I hope, I'm, hope you're getting something from it. But it comes down to this one word, trust. And I got some bad news to tell you. If we trust anything other than God, that thing is going to torment us. That thing is gonna, that thing is gonna own us. It's gonna not be nice to us. And so, you know, I don't want to use the word idolatry because nobody likes that word. That's a very old-fashioned word. Like, I'm not idolatry. I'm 2016 nigger. Like, okay, I get it, I get it. But, um, but ultimately, it's gonna come down to um, trust. Oh, here we go again. Trust, lean on. So, what do you lean on, rely on, and be confident? Like, I don't trust. I trust God. Well, okay. Well, who's paying your bills? You know, I, I had a friend. You know, and. He was, in fact, I had a really good friend, really one of those dear, dear, dear friends. And what he did is he trusted on his family. You're like, we're supposed to like our family. We're like, yeah, we're supposed to like our family, but we can't let our family become an idol where it supplants God. Anyway, that's a hard word, trust, lean on, rely, and be confident in the Lord and do good. So shall you dwell in the land and feed surely on his faithfulness, and truly you shall be fed. Psalm 37 is a special, special chapter to me. All right, you guys be good. I think I'm done talking about trusting God. You know, we spent so many words trying to get to that one word, trust. But you know, that's if you just look at Psalms 37, it's just that's the formula. You're like, give me the formula, John. I just, stupid, stupid nose, nigger, dude. I just, you know, you're talking about like letting the Lord be magnified. I'm like, okay, well, here you go, dude. Here you go. Psalms 37, here's your formula. Fear not. Trust and do good. Delight yourself in the Lord. Commit your way to the Lord. There's your formula. There's your four-step formula, baby. Like, I don't like it. 
Okay, well, sorry. All right, you guys have a great day. I'm gonna find something weird in here. I bet you I can find something weird. Give me a second. If you ever, ever want to see weird, you go to the Old Testament. I'll find something weird. You're like, give me something weird. Oh yeah, I got a joke. Uh, you know, on the beach, there's always the guy that over, he over um, sunscreens. Those guys are always fun. So uh, sometimes they scare the shit out of me. Like they'll like literally be covered from like their white ghost walking down the beach. And, all right, here we go. I'll find something weird. All right, here we go. I talked about yesterday how Isaac means laughter. I thought that was so interesting. Laughter, it's a holy thing to me. I really discovered that, how laughter is... Here we go. There's something in here. All right. Here we go. Here we go. This is straight out of Compton, Exodus 14. Here we go. It says, The Lord will fight for you. And you shall hold your peace and remain at rest. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the people of Israel to go forward. That's kind of weird. I know, I'll do better tomorrow. But isn't that weird? You're crying to God, and he's like, Why do you cry? Tell the people to go forward. There, okay, there you go. The Lord will fight for you. You've got to trust in him. And when you cry too much, he's like, Just go forward. He got you, baby. All right, you guys have a great day. Email me on Okay. You got my email? Americana 417 gmail.com. Let me say it one more time. Email me. Americana 417 gmail.com. All right, you guys have a great day. Seriously, get in the word. Psalms 91. You know, I could talk, um, you know, let me just go here. I got to show it to you. So this way you understand why I keep pointing. All right, if you go to the book of John, this is so important, dude. So important. It took me a long time to get here, but once I got here, this made my life so much. I, can't, I cannot tell you the impact this had on my life. You're just going to have to. Here we go. T word, baby. It says, Psalms, this is John 15, 7. It says, if you live in me and my words remain in you, continue to live in your heart, ask whatever you want. It shall be done for you. See, we're supposed to let the words in our lives. Literally let them in our lives. Let them marinate. And so, just got to find some words that marinate, that resonate. Let them sit. Maybe you're going through some shalupa. He has no power over me. Oh, maybe you need some uh, wisdom. He'll teach me all things. Just got to trust him. Maybe you're like me and you're from a weird background. You need like a formula. I grew up in a weird, weird stuff. Here we go, dude. You need a formula? See, everything we, we, we were taught needed a formula. We didn't really trust God. We trusted our formulas, so... I kind of got a lot of that in me still. So I, all right, here's a formula. Psalm 37, fear not. Trust and do good. That's your formula today, baby. Delight in the Lord. Commit your way to the Lord. All right, you guys have a great day. Email me, email me, Americana417 at gmail.com. You guys have a great day. It's what they say about you when they're talking to Go forward.